Hey guys, Tech Adventure with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to talk about this unable to check for update error message that you might have received while trying to update your iPhone. In this video, we're going to talk about why you're seeing this error and then also a couple solutions that will hopefully clear this up and you'll be able to check for updates. So let's talk about why you're seeing this issue. The first biggest reason why you're seeing this issue it's because there is an internet connection issue whether you're connected to Wi-Fi or cellular data it just can't reach out to the internet so we're gonna check the internet connection the next thing is that Apple servers that are serving up those updates aren't available the third reason could be that there's too many people looking to request the update this happens generally when there's a major update release and everyone's trying to download it and because there's so many requests it's getting blocked down so your request might not go through and then the fourth thing might be is because there's not enough storage on your device locally to download that update and lastly it could be because your Wi-Fi connection basically times out because the file size of the update is large and your Wi-Fi isn't fast enough so let's go ahead and how show you guys how to fix it the first thing you want to do especially when you encounter this is simply check your Wi-Fi connection by going into settings and then Wi-Fi and then you see a Wi-Fi connection well what do you want to do is sometimes if it's not working go ahead and turn off your Wi-Fi and then turn it back on again and now you're going to go back to your update settings by going to settings general software update and this time it should go through and check it for you now if that didn't fix it the next thing you want to do is for that Wi-Fi connection go ahead and forget that network and this time once you forget it you're gonna rejoin again to the same network again of course just to prove out that it's not the network connection issue now if you're seeing that you're still having an issue with the Wi-Fi itself turn off the Wi-Fi and then check the settings as well if you have a dip if you have 4G or 5G cellular connection that should also help you be able to check for updates so that's going to be one thing now solution number two it's going to be actually using iTunes so if you don't have a, a, a computer make sure you know get iTunes which is free to install and plug in to your laptop and it'll be a follow by step where it'll pop up will come up and then you'll update it there now the third thing to do is if you're still not having an issue is simply restarting your phone so on the iPhone 10 or newer simply to restart you're gonna hold this big button and then the volume up button at the same time and then you're gonna click on it well press both of the button at the same time till you see power to slide off slide it off give it about a minute and then you're gonna hold this big button on the right hand side to power it back on and hopefully that resolves the issue for some reason your buttons aren't working you can always go to settings and then once you're in settings you can go to general and then all the way down here shut down option slide it off give it about a minute to rest and then power it back on and then go ahead and check for the update one more time by going into settings general again software update and hopefully that error message goes away as you can see it will come up because we are not connected to internet connection again we're gonna go ahead if you disconnect it from the Wi-Fi go ahead and turn on the Wi-Fi and then make sure you reconnect again to the Wi-Fi so we're gonna go ahead and connect to our demo Wi-Fi here again it's good it's important to make sure that your Wi-Fi connection you know is good now if still you're seeing that issue now it's time to clear up the storage on your device so if you don't have enough storage usually when you major update they require somewhere between five to eight gigs of actual space free now if your space isn't free enough which you can sell simply check by going to general and then about and then you can see pretty much how much space you have here if you don't have enough space like we said at least 10 gigs or so you may not be able to check for updates and to clear up space you can go to again settings general and then iPhone storage you can review list of recommendation which you can enable and then apps that are using up space photos and videos that you can simply remove and clear up your device usually videos are the biggest things so if you delete some videos photos some apps clear up some space and then try it one more time and after that if still isn't working now you want to check your time and date on your phone because what happens is if the phone is out of sync it's looking to connect to Apple servers it can't connect if there is an issue with the time that you're locally there so you want to check your time and setting by going to settings general and this time 
date and time and make sure either it's set automatically now if your time is off you want to set it manually again you can toggle it back on just until you get your time zone right and that time matches your local time and then give it one more try and hopefully now you're able to take and get that update and if none of these methods worked and you're still having an issue you might sometimes have to wait a little bit if it's apple servers that are, are waiting to uh, be freed up so try it you know maybe another time of the day or in a few hours or so but hopefully these steps do help you resolve the issue and again if none of these work it might be time to take it to the apple store to have a take a look at it to make sure that your phone doesn't have any sort of weird issue or you contact apple support so hopefully this video is helpful if this video is helpful please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time